welcome, welcome to the d Golf Channel. We are at Serrano Country Club, a Balmer Golf Studios course. Uh, literally like one of my favorite country club courses is what I'll call this. Uh, it's pretty, it's easy enough, but you got some bunk, like for this one I aimed at the bunker thinking there's no way I'll hit it straight. And of course bunker. I gotta figure out what that little uh, recording line is that I'm picking up lately. You see that? There it goes. It's only when it's moving I'm getting like this. I'm just noticing it as I'm editing it, but I think it's been there for a few videos. Alright, par on one. Uh, this round features maybe one of the greatest golf shots I've ever hit. That's not it, obviously. Yeah, what is that? That's in the video itself, so I have to check my settings in uh, OBS Studio, try and figure out what's causing that. Maybe frames per second being forced. Ooh, if you've seen that in OBS Studio and uh, you know, comment below, please help me out. I don't know what is going on with the balance there. That's weird. Catching a little bit of the cart path and rolling into the rough 174 away. Water everywhere. This is like a disaster waiting to happen. Actually playing a pretty creative little shot out of there that was close to being good but was not. Little 16 yard chip trying to save par. And doing so. Alright, even. Headed to our first par 3 of the day, 139 yards. Should just be like a 9 iron. This one looks pretty good. Lands hole high, rolls just a little bit. That's a par. And uh, even through four, and you can see kind of why I like this course. Um, the houses look pretty awesome. They got like this uh, terracotta roofs everywhere. The course allows you to just kind of drive it and play from wherever it lands. Like today, uh, did not have any driver going at all. I was able to hit around and have a lot of fun. Going to find this uh, greenside bunker here, exploring all parts of the course so far. And blasting that one past. That's the worst, because now you got this little short-sided thing. Ooh, gave it a chance, though. But that's our first bogey of the day. Won't be the last. Par 5, 6th coming up. 528 up the hill and to the left. Yeah, I can see why the drivers wasn't good. The swing on camera just looks a little disjointed and really shoulder heavy rotation. Two seven one remaining. That's not really the side of the fairway I wanted to be on, but decent strike on the layup. 55 remaining and a poor effort there barely making it and then blasting that by some sloppy chipping looks like early here at Serrano okay a bogey there and we're off to the seventh. Another par three, 130 yards down the hill. Pitching wedge in hand. The swing looking a little abbreviated. Looks like I'm doing like training, but got some decent numbers there, 157. I hope that was not a pitching 
pitching wedge like <coughs> like I guessed. Pretty poor chipping effort there as well. Just the touch not in existent here. So far early, plus three. That was a little better at clearing the hips, but still going to come up pretty short here on a par 5. 217 might have a chance to go for it. Oh, carry. Bounce left. Roll in there. Oh, almost an eagle. And that club will come in handy here uh, later on in the round, which... Like I hit the best shot of my life on the simulator. That... Hmm. There's like some things I'm doing right. That was a good drive. <clears throat> 128 away up the hill. Nope. Toey, chunky. I had been going through some, uh, going through some stuff here during this round. That, including it, the chipping, just kind of awful. Give the birdie right back with a bogey on nine. Head to ten. Wide open fairway. And spray it right. One, three, two. This one, perfect distance, just a little left of the flag, and another short-sided chip. Let's see how we handle this. Definitely short enough. All right. Got one in there, settled in 147 down the hill. Nice par three here, a little creek in front of the green, though. Don't want to be short. How about super left and short? Gets, <laughs> hits the front of the green, just bounces straight backwards. And now the approach out of the sand is also bad. Compounding errors all over the place. Really nice house there. All right, 12th hole's a up the hill, dog leg left, par four. Best drive of the day, easily. Rolls up there, 112 away. Good angle in. Throw the hands. And a normal par. Good stuff. That, that was a real hole. That's how we want to just play golf. Is low piercing drive. High feathery. 50 degree, left of the flag, two putt par. That's all you gotta do. All right, par five here, 218 remaining up the hill. This is like our, this is the theme of this round, is having these 215 yard shots into par fives. This one, I catch it high on the face and just spin it up in the air. Tough bunker shot though, probably going to be a bogey. Throws <laughs> through the hands, tried to spin it as much as possible. Still didn't get enough. Have to take that way higher and somehow land it on the down slope. Alright, here comes the hole of the day. Par 5. Hitting a pretty good drive uh, to start. So it's a 505 par 5. This one, no spin, gets it down there, 285. Look at the pin location. Tucked right, hybrid in hand, launched in the air. Fringe, kick right, in the circle. Hit the like, subscribe button for that. Eagle on the card. Literally perfect. 
and now you head to the next hole, the 15th, and just like blade one right and long for a bogey. So giving uh, every time a birdie or anything good happens, we are bogeying the next hole guaranteed today. Serrano Country Club, though, uh, just some really fun holes. A lot of par fives, I feel like. Here's another one. We've at least had three, so this is our fourth par five. Is that right? Yeah. And another good drive. Kind of finding the driver late in the round here. Still 291 away after that, though. So this one, not going to be reachable. Hitting a really good three wood, though. 63 remaining. Try to get this one close. Nope. Oh, distance was okay, but it is just a little left. And that's another par on the card as we head to the 17th. we got a couple holes left. If you are interested in GS Pro Garminar 10 or anything we got going on in the garage simulator space, just uh, comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Try and respond to everybody. And if you played Serrano Country Club, let me know what you shot around there. Um, we'll double check which tees we're on at the end, but looks like blues. Yeah, driver coming alive late in the round. That one flying 255. 136 remaining, trying to end on a high note. It's a little short. But it is going to roll in there for a par, and we will take it. Those were the white tees at 6,100 yards. Saturday pins. Uh, a decent drive. Greens and fairways, all decent. And we will see you guys at the next course. Peace.